Hi guys, he's Peter, so I decided to record short guide for Code is Law app which I introduced you in the last video. So and there are actually two very important things to understand because this concept was never ever published or created in any other app which I have developed. So therefore it makes sense to explain it a bit more. What you can see here is something like D spins. Um, D means dynamic spins. So if you start with for example 16 spins, okay, it's a beginning, but during a game this spins value is changing. It's changing the way then you are actually observing, like your app is observing what's happening on a table and what is the number sequence doing and flexibly adapt to that dynamic spins so I never used this method before but it's quite actually very good you will see that soon once I will open new live play and casino club probably with 400 euro deposit you will see how I, how this is going to be used plus this is not only the one the value which is dynamically calculated there is also the second one and this is cycles so variance from average coefficient I keep the same but the cycles are changing based on these two values or range of the values so maybe also it's good to explain these three parameters so as I said completely new two things of money management is you don't have a levels it's always just one level dynamic spins are changing constantly during a game based on the number sequence and evaluation of algorithm plus cycles for variance from average are also changing dynamically during a game and here are the parameters for algorithm so second segment hit value so first you define spins validation if you enter 10 it means this will evaluate certain figures in last 20 spins you can also see here it's two times value 10 so in last 20 spins you evaluate certain ideas and ratios plus if you cut these 20 spins which means you take the 10 spins like a second segment from this the number sequence these two parameters or range minimum and maximum also can be two are somehow referring to number of hits for, for certain pattern which you are going to evaluate so if you enter one it means one hit in a second segment of your evaluated number sequence so your range is one two three these numbers of hits are actually possible for your conditions and last confirm non-hit value as I mentioned it's something like you you calculate a non-hit for pattern if the pattern comes you save this last non-hit value which was achieved and start a new non-hit value calculation and this last confirm non-hit value is this one which you just saved because the pattern came and you calculate the new one this would be called like current non-hit value so you are defining how many spins you want to see minimum because this is a 10 or higher for this confirm non-hit value these are the parameters for algorithm and also as i explained these two values dynamic spins and dynamic cycles are not fixed they are always observing what's going on in your rng random number generator and following flexibly the number sequence it's quite cool and it provides super good results so i hope that this quick guide help you to understand more how i currently approach the rng fight and i'll be happy to welcome you to my live sessions see you soon